Hey Virgo, welcome back to this channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my reading. Keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Hey everyone in the chat. All right, Virgo, we're going to take a look and see who's coming towards you. A little bit left to the month of August. And so we're going to take a look and see anybody showing up in ooh, the rest of August here. Okay, we've got boat. You have seduction. And ooh, two other cards. You've got photograph and camera. Whoa. Okay, Virgo. Very interesting. So this person might have a boat or there might be someone might be coming towards you on a boat. This person is very seductive. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Seductive. Somebody that you maybe you work with um, or someone, <laughs> you know, you're applying for a loan and, you know, that, that person hops up on the table. I mean, hey, anything can happen. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Oh, I didn't see this here. Ooh, someone possibly with an addiction. Hey, you know what? It's a circus. Codependent obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. Camera, someone's looking at your photo. Someone, okay, number one. There are several different things going on here, and I'm not gonna, not gonna focus too much on this, but I will say um, there's someone who possibly either has a boat or they're traveling by boat or they're coming in on a boat. Um, someone who's seductive, very tempting. Um, Yes, there's also someone here with an addiction and someone here who may be a photographer, okay? Um, or they do a lot of stuff with pictures or they have your pictures, okay? If you know who they are. Let's get into this reading and see what else is going on. Who else is coming towards Virgo the rest of July, okay? So whoever it is, this person's a sad sack of snakes. Sad, sad sack of snakes here. Let's see. Grief, loss... Someone is regretting, full of remorse. Goodness gracious. Okay, keeping to themselves. So this is definitely Virgo, someone um, could be for some of you, I'm seeing a Pisces. Uh, this person is deeply, deeply sorrowful and has regret. Spilled, crying over spilled milk right now. Feeling sorry for themselves, has a lot of remorse, a lot of regret. Um, regret for not being open and honest, regret for keeping secrets, for keeping to themselves, for maybe ghosting, going silent, not saying anything. Okay, let's see what is going on here. Okay, wow. Taurus energy. Regret and remorse for taking too long to reach out to you, taking too long to offer that commitment, taking too long. Because the Knight of Pentacles is slow as molasses. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, and if it's not committing to you, it's just someone who has regret. Um, hold on a minute. <laughs> okay, that's so strange. I feel like someone really... Okay. Now this person, I don't know if you know this person. Virgo you might but hmm you might not though either way this person sits in a position of they missed they missed the boat that's what the boat is they missed the boat okay they missed a chance they missed their shot they didn't shoot their shot Virgo okay wow yep to try to make something happen or to make things happen um this is really interesting with this person. They might be a performer. Uh, maybe they, you know, pull rabbits out of hats kind of energy, or they're up on the stage, or they stand at a podium and speak, or they talk. This person, oh my gosh, they have a tremendous amount of stress. Oh my gosh, especially for not re, re reconciling with you. This person is like, wants to come back. This is the secret. I, I don't know if you know this person. I feel like you do. And this person is going to try to um, initiate some kind of reconciliation with you. 
and it's going to be late at night, I'm hearing. Really late at night. I mean, this person cannot sleep. They're having bad dreams. They're having nightmares, bad dreams, thinking about you, about the old, the good times. Definitely, Virgo. You could have been in a committed relationship with this person. <clears throat> they were just real, like, slow as molasses. And they're having, like, some serious regrets here. Feeling kind of sorry for themselves. Maybe, like, you know, poor, poor, like that poor me kind of energy. I guess you must not be with this person. Or you must have, like, you must be gone. Um, or this person feels abandoned or unloved. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is very quiet. They're giving me an energy of someone who is like very quiet. Like, sh I don't know, maybe they're shy. They're just quiet. They didn't take a chance. Or they took too long to take a chance to come with the offer, you know, like to even just to be exclusive. Uh, they might have like ghosted or gone silent on you before. Let me see what else is going on here. Tell me more about this. Well, let's let's take a look and see going further into August. Like I do feel like this person dreams and thinks about, you know, trying to have a reunion with you. They think about you. You're always on their mind. They're stuck in the past. They have dreams about the past. Is per okay. Listen, Virgo. Ten of Cups. I feel like this person, um, what the heck? Why was this person so slow? Like, why were they, why were they taking their time? Oh my goodness. You get the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. Were they maybe in another relationship or they were married or they had, um, some family issues or they may have been, um, like a, they might have been fear-based to go into a committed relationship as well. That kind of energy is playing out. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this person was like trapped. Mental, mentally trapped. And I feel like they're a self-sabotage or they're a sabotager. They sabotage their relationships and then they feel, feel like bad about it. But I feel like this person is just on like you're on their mind okay i'm picking up some pisces here but we also have taurus there's gemini hmm okay so this person you know whether they're coming towards you i do feel like there's a small percentage of you that this person is going to reach out to reconnect with you but for the rest of you i kind of feel like like right now like going through um all the end of august you are on the like you are so heavily on this person's mind now let me see what they will do oh okay hmm. yeah they're definitely going to try to renew the relationship definitely um let me see here get their hope back why what's causing this huh well <laughs> excuse me virgo <clears throat> look at you seriously like, I don't know, I guess you're up on your high horse. I don't know what you're doing, but you're like winner, winner, chicken dinner right now. And I feel like that's why this person sees you as like a star. Or they see you as like the bright star in their life. And it feels like, it feels like, um, They see you getting a lot of attention or they think you're getting a lot of attention from others or maybe for one person in particular, could be an Aries, but they stay, they kind of like, this person's like addicted to you. Okay. So they are definitely, let me see, are they going to come forward? I do feel like they are, but I need a little more information here. What is the energy with this person? Yes. Okay. They will message you. Yes, there is going to be a reach out from this person. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, this might be, this could be somebody that you dated and they just never committed for all the various reasons I gave. And they have your picture and they look at, they look at your pictures and, 
you know, this person is like heavily addicted to you, like super, super, you know, um, attracted to you, like physically, there's your sign, super attracted to you, flirting, dating, all that stuff. Could also just be someone that you started talking to and then they just kind of, you know, maybe dipped out a little bit. And um, now, I don't know, Virgo, what did you do? Let's, I just got to see what's your energy, like what happened? Okay, uh, you pulled back your energy or you're pulling back your energy and that's causing this person to come towards you. Okay, you're very hesitant. You've got boundaries up. You are not reaching out to anybody, whoever this person is, you know, you're just not reaching out to them. You're not reaching out to them. You might be reaching out to other people, but they've got you on a pedestal even more so. And I think it feels like because you look like you are you put your you're putting yourself in like this winner position you're getting the attention at least that's what they think you know you're going after someone that you know can come forward maybe you're already dating someone who's like ticking off all the boxes here for you but yeah this person is like look at this it's like pen pentacle putting you up on the pedestal this person's like kind of muscular chicken legs but kind of muscular well, they might not have chicken legs, but, you know, and if it's, um, yeah, it's a female too. She's in shape. She's fit. She's very fit. Okay. So it looks like you just were like, okay, well, you know, it's not going anywhere. So I'm just going to pull back my energy or just, you know, put up some boundaries here. Um, I'm going to be persistent with that. Not chasing, stepping back and giving me a goddamn headache. <laughs> Virgo. It just, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. What is this conversation, this text message? What are they going to say? Oh my gosh. They're going to love bomb the heck out of you. Look at all this. Cupid's arrows here. This person is just going to be um, throwing themselves at you. Like, I, f I feel like everything maybe was going okay. For some of you, this was someone that you knew two years ago, or there was some kind of connection two years ago, but it feels like everything was going okay, and, every, and you know, just moving right along, like you were footloose and fancy, doing this thing, this connection, this relationship, and then something happened. This person went quiet here, pulled in, went through like maybe some depression or something, they just kind of backed out. And it looks like here that you were just kind of following in suit. Like you mirrored this person energy, right? So they're coming around again. This person that's coming towards you, okay? In the rest of, now the rest of, um, yeah. See, if the, six of, if the Six of Cups wasn't there, then I, I could say that it's new, but I don't even have the Ace of Cups, so it's really hard to tell. But... <clears throat> Look at this person coming in. Like, this person is physically crazy about you, especially more than anything. They see you as so attractive. They're looking at you somehow. There's something about you. Either they're looking at your pictures or they see you somewhere. And they're just like, oh, they're kicking themselves for not um, doing something sooner. But you are more attractive to this person because of that nine of wands. Because you just were like, adios wasn't going anywhere so you kind of looks like in august especially you pull back your energy and they start coming towards you okay so yeah there's going to be a lot of passionate communication a lot of love messages um a lot of you know them flirting with you that kind of energy um, trying to bring things back into balance but i also kind of feel like you are <clears throat> excuse me i don't know what is going on with my voice tonight but it looks like you are gonna be a little bit more like pushing back on this energy to protect your peace um so you can try to figure out what you want to do I, f I see you being in a crossroad when this person comes towards you you know like oh shit what should i do do i want to go back to this relationship should i try again or should i just take another path 
yeah definitely this is a choice you're gonna have a choice definitely by the end of august this person might be sending you a gift as well um if you have a birthday at the end of august try to like yep there's my birthday card this is always my birthday cake card as well as an apology so you definitely no matter what part of virgo you were born but you definitely if you were born at the end of august <clears throat> they might send you a card or something with a little gift and an apology as well like this always reminds me of like blue and pink birthday cake i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why um and the fish does represent peace too i feel this person i don't know i'm picking up some energy like they they have a boat or they're always on a boat and they fish too that's not for all of you that's a very specific message um they catch fish maybe they work as a fisherman or fisherwoman or they they do something on a boat maybe they work in the like seafood department in the grocery store i have no idea but <laughs> i mean it's one or the other but i feel like um yeah this person's coming in with like a, a birthday apology and or just an apology now also with this reading i mean i generally look like a month ahead so virgo i kind of feel like you know at least all the way up until maybe september 13th you know going into september okay let me take a look here what a couple more cards for virgo and this oh geez i knew it i got the lovers the empress and oh major arcana so virgo um definitely a decision this person let me just tell you gemini libra scorpio this person <clears throat> i want to say this person i don't want to say your person because this might just be someone for a percentage of you that you dated <clears throat> excuse me that you dated and they weren't really your person yet okay so if you dated someone for a short amount of time and then there was like a split and then you got back together or started dating again and then it just kind of something happened um that would be for you okay now for others of you this may be someone from way before okay and that could be why like in either scenario i feel like you're kind of like going to push back to protect your peace because i just get a sense that i don't know if it's that you're not sure i mean i feel like you have some type of feeling for this person they might be an ex or someone that you had a child with too for some of you but i feel like um I feel like you, you, you kind of like raised your vibration here with the Empress, masculine or feminine energy. And it's like the decision to reconcile with this person has to be, it looks like it's for you, like it's, if they're opening up, coming clean, they're having that awakening, like they're being open and honest about everything and even healing. Somebody might, they might be from, I'm picking up like England as well. Um, but coming in with that, you know, definitely, I feel like learning from the past, if they've learned something from the past, okay, if they've like really reconciled themselves and, you know, have come to this place where they know what they need to do now and that they might be asking for another chance here too, okay, whether it's just like, temp like, you know, just dating for a little while or anything more than that, um, but I feel like this surrounds the Virgos that have a birthday because th this is like why someone from before is coming in has a lot to do with the fact that your birthday is coming up, okay? Let me see what other messages are here for Virgos. Because I mean, this person like, I have to tell you this, I feel like they weren't sure if they were in love with you. I feel like they liked you a real lot like if on a scale of one to ten ten being close like pretty much love i feel like they were very close to like an eight or a nine um and the reason why i didn't get to a ten was because it was overpowered by this physical sedu seduction and like obsessive energy this physical like attraction kind of overpowered it does that make sense i mean i don't know if that makes sense but 
that's kind of when I feel like the, the physical connection seemed to dictate more than the relationship and it was trying to be more but I feel like this person I don't know they got yeah look that's what I'm saying it was very passionate but it must have ended maybe you ended it Virgo because it was just strictly sexual for you that like that's what it felt like and you wanted more but it feels like ending it like I was saying has this person now in abstinence <laughs> and pretty much being able you know how like sometimes there's an energy of like you can't feel the love when you're so focused on the sex right and you go take that away and that's kind of like a fast in some way that abstinence feeling and this person is like missing you like they are missing who you are who you are not just the physical yeah oh my gosh the dust and partnership this is fate friendship so i feel like for some of you this could have been just a friend that was like a friend with benefits maybe and you were i feel like some of you not all of you were like nah it's not fulfilling enough you want something more something more a deeper connection a deeper partnership um Oh my gosh, there's the addiction card. Like you can't with this reading, can't make this up. I feel like a lot of that got in, in the way of this relationship having the opportunity to grow, okay? And I mean that in like the, the most sincerest way. But what's happening now with this person is... I mean, the lovers in the, in the Page of Cups and having a new start. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah that's what's going on this person is pretty much like oh damn realizing that they really did love you okay and they missed their chance so they should have taken the opportunity and they they were taken too long that's what i feel like is going on here but here they come yeah there are a lot of obstacles in the way they had somebody else or another situation or they put obstacles in the way maybe rejected the relationship which actually was protection from you for you which looks like caused you to reject them in return to protect yourself and you're still in that energy where you are protecting your peace but it virgo i, I have to tell you this person is coming in with that that judgment card like they know now they know what they need to do <clears throat> they have that clarity and they're coming like they're coming to that final decision you are there some of they're still obsessed with you like that that's why all this is happening i feel like <laughs> Virgo. i mean i mean you can't blame them right like who wouldn't be obsessed with a virgo let me see what if they could tell you what their hidden truth is what this person's hidden truth is Okay, I feel you even though we are par absolutely yeah this person's pretty much abstinent like they are not having any kind of physical relation with anyone even if you know that they're with someone there nothing's happening in the, in the sheets there I know I messed up everything I lost myself for a little while this person was just like like I said they sabotage the mental like restrictions so they, they restricted themselves they're still very attracted to you, Virgo. Nothing's changed with that. Um, yeah, the physical thing, the seduction, the flirting, all that. Like this person, they want to keep flirting with you and, and have that, you know, physical thing with you. But they know also here that friendship also has to, to blossom. There's got to be friendship too. It can't just be the physical and uh, friends of benefits kind of thing. And I know so when I say the friends with benefits like what I mean is just someone who might have been telling you that they wanted more and they were kind of maybe acting like that it was going to go in that direction and they were just kind of not really pushing it forward but you guys were intimate with each other and then you were spending time but they really weren't invested you know or or they were just taken it's taken a really long time i don't know Virgo. it looks to me like you just were like nah it's just not happening okay what else would this person tell virgo okay i know that i crossed the line with you 
you were the best thing in my life. Yeah, like this person has so many regrets. I feel like they want to apologize to you, tell you that they're sorry that they made you wait, sorry that they couldn't like get over themselves and, you know, get real. Oh, wait for a sign from you. They're looking. They're looking at you somehow, some way. Looking to see if you're interested in. They're like, oh, they just gave me a song now. Hanging by a thread. Hanging on your every word. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Lifehouse song. I can't remember how it goes. But they're looking. They're definitely looking to see. They're looking. They're like reading into anything you say. Um, if you're on social media, they're, they're reading into anything you post or anything you say. Or uh, looking to see if there's any pictures of you with anyone. Hmm. Yeah, look. I look for you everywhere. That's what this person is doing. They're looking. Oh, they're looking. And they're not looking like to because I feel like this person's going to come in anyway, whether you're with someone or not. They don't care. They're just like completely different. I feel like they've changed in a lot of ways. Like they're acting differently. Like when they had you, they didn't do anything about it. And now that they don't have you and you might have somebody else, they're doing everything about it now. So this person is like, their timing is horrible. <laughs> their timing is horrible. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's a twist. Finances, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. That might have had some role, played a role in this relationship. This person, I'm just hearing that old 80s song, You're My Obsession. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Wow, Virgo. Virgo's like, why? You know, exes will come back more than new people will come in. Crazy as it sounds, it's true. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and give the relationship a chance okay a lot of mixed messages there virgo and i feel like that's indicative of how you feel like a lot of mixed messages and that's why you're defending yourself and fighting back trying to keep the peace because there is red flags you know but it feels like this person wants to work on this you know um they have some red flags they know it i feel like they want to tell you you know, I'm just hearing like, I, I'm just feeling like a strong energy of um, someone who's like learned from the past. Like, <laughs> Virgo's like, I'm going to sleep. Leave me alone. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> just learning from the past. Definitely. And I feel like learning, what did they learn? That they didn't do anything. That they didn't, they, they didn't really, they didn't shoot their shot. That's all I keep, that's all I keep hearing. Let's try to get some, like, I haven't done these in a while, but I'm going to throw a few physical features in to see. Maybe can get some kind of an idea of who this person is coming towards you. If this, if the message resonates, that's fine. Or if the signs I called out, that's fine. Okay. So, okay. Muscular. Definitely. Remember I said that? Well, that energy is showing up. So this person, maybe they're a fitness person or a bodybuilder or they lift weights or they're, they're just built they might have um, mesomorph or I don't know could be stocky um, or short there is an energy of someone like that here muscular oh shit I just said that what <laughs> it's crazy all right this person's short and muscular there you go okay there you go and if you say but that's not that's me okay then it's you um, or if you say my person's tall well, then maybe it's you. It's not your person. One or the other, right? It doesn't mean it's doesn't mean the message is not for you. Um, if the message resonates, so be it. Okay, let's see. Maybe you can get a Chinese sign for you guys to see. Chinese signs for Virgo. Okay, whoa, dang. Rooster. An ox, dragon, the tiger, the goat, 
snake rabbit again wait did I say rabbit no I didn't so there's a rabbit and a monkey okay that resonates that could be you could be your person could be both of you could be none take it with a grain of salt okay let's get your names and stuff and see who else shows up here Virgo Virgo Virgo's drama episode number 323 <clears throat> Virgo's love life okay <clears throat> Someone loves like their favorite soda, which is strange, like Sprite or 7-Up. Or someone drinks Sprite or 7-Up or, you know, a lemon-lime kind of fizzy drink. Okay. So someone is from France and someone is also 56. Oh, Virgo Sai, get in the queue. Get in the queue. You're going to have to get in line because you have... It looks like you have other people interested in you. I don't know if anyone's come forward. You might currently be talking to somebody right now. You could be meeting somebody new before that this month is up, but I don't feel that strongly. I do feel, and they're just giving me this now, that there could, somebody new showing up um, in October, but we'll wait till we get there, okay? Wait till we get there. Okay, someone is 64. Mm. They just said, enter the dragon. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Someone is 45. And 47. Okay. Um, okay, initial G and C. G and C? Oh, G and C. Like the nutrition store. Somebody goes to G and C, gets protein shakes or metabolic stuff, does something with or works there. The G and C store or is going there. You were just in there. Somebody was 27. Um, okay. I'm hearing the name Chip. <clears throat> Chip. Or someone lives in California, California Highway Patrol, also I'm getting. So someone might live in California. Maybe they're a police officer somewhere there. And I only know that from the show. <laughs> I would have no idea. Okay. And I'm hearing Cass. Cass. Like Cassandra or Cass. Okay. Um. And I'm hearing OJ. Holla! <laughs> White Bronco, y'all. Maybe they were like, they, maybe, is it some, maybe they were there. Maybe they were like, chased OJ back in the 90s down wherever he was going. I don't know. I remember watching it on TV. I'm a little black and white <laughs> back in the 90s. <laughs> Had a little black and white TV in my room, you know, with a glass picture tube. <laughs> like, who's this fool? running down the highway that's how old i am did i actually remember that <laughs> um okay i'm hearing 610 looks like an area code and i'm getting 56 again i'm also getting 55 and 106 could be a radio station someone listens to 106 okay 710 1967, 1966, someone was born. I think that's a horse, the year of the horse. And 1978. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's G and C again. What's going on? Somebody watched, do you remember that old show? It was called JAG. Or someone's a, someone's a, a JAG officer, like in the military. Jag or so are there in the mil or someone's in the military? What's a jag officer? Isn't it like um isn't like a lawyer or something? What do I know? I don't remember. Okay, I just I think I forgot to give you these messages, so I just want to get a couple of these. 
crazy, Virgo. So much crazy. Okay, material gift, yes. So, for the Virgos, birthdays are coming up. Expect a material gift. Expect some jewelry or a nice tie. <laughs> They're so, like, impersonal, but, well, not the jewelry. Uh, somebody's buying someone a lighter or a, a, a vape thing or a bong. A bong. Okay, yeah, there's the regret. That's just confirming it, but you're standing your ground. Hmm, Virgo. Virgo's like, don't come in here with this soppy ass energy. Come in correct and then we can talk, right? You're also receiving a loan, which is great. And the past returns here, Virgo. That's who's coming towards you, your past lover. Around starting at the end of August, making that return could possibly be getting an early happy birthday or a gift, an apology, um, if your birthday's in September. And an emotional wish being granted. Some of you want this. Just that little acknowledgement or recognition from someone specific. It may not be this person. Um, you could be getting, um, you know, it just, okay. So something that makes your heart happy you know, when your heart makes a like a dream is a wish that your heart makes, um, some kind of dream that you've had, whether it's like a dream that's contrived or something that just involuntarily happens at night that made you very happy, like that dream is being granted to you. It's coming, okay? Whatever that is. Okay, waiting for an answer. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, some of you just want to know when this whole damn thing is going to be over with and done and there's no more struggle with this, okay? Um, that's, that's your answer. This whole thing, whatever this situation is, will come to... The situation may not come to an end, but the struggle of the situation is coming to an end. Absolutely. <clears throat> there won't be any more worrying. Yeah, because somebody's hitting rock bottom here. It could be you, but it could be this person where there's like complete and utter surrender to everything and making something better here. And you have to trust your intuition. I said this yesterday. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. And there you are waiting for that answer. What's the answer? This person, your person, whoever they are, your love, this person hitting rock bottom, learning from the past, learning the lesson. And making those changes and you know it's more about like wow i feel like this person comes to terms and realizes that you were the real deal for them you were the best they ever had no one ever came as close and you were just it for them and, and they let that go they're gonna try to get it back again you know and as i always say if you want it virgo um Yeah, I was going to pull some of these cards, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save them for the OnlyFans, which you can join for $4.99 a month to get the spicy reads. I'm always tempted to pull them out here, but I can't do it. I just can't. And I don't have to put blur on it. And then, although I probably could show some of these. I don't know. Should I take a chance? I'll just give you one. Okay, this one. I want to kiss you every time I see you. This person, like, plants lips on your photo. They kiss the computer screen. Okay, weirdo. <laughs> um, I want to make a move. Yep, I feel like this person is definitely... Ooh. Shack Shwin and X. Holla. Some of y'all. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. One last one. I miss our times together. I wish I could make love to you again. I wish I could make love to you, to you again. <laughs> There's like, of course, as a Virgo, I would point out the imperfection in that, that phrase, right? Who else sees it? Is it just me? <laughs> I want to make love to you, to you again. My eyes are just drawn to imperfections. I don't know what it is. I, I spot them immediately. I try not to do that with people. <laughs> 
unless I'm going to spot them immediately and just adore that imperfection. But I, I try. It's it's such a. I think sometimes the struggle with Virgo is we see imperfections and we just want to clean them up and fix them or make them better. And, and that's great if you're organizing your desk <laughs> or you're doing something like that else like that. But when you see that in a person or someone that you love, like they, they take it wrong and then it comes off wrong. And I feel like sometimes with, with a person for Virgo's, if they see something with someone that they know that they they can improve, I think it's definitely a lesson that I had to learn myself was to try to find a way to be loving and compassionate with someone and not default into, you know, you're, you're messing that up there. I, you know, let me fix it. Like people, people can be sensitive, you know, some people can't, some people are like, Oh yeah, no, you're right. Thanks. Yeah. You just never know. You try to be the best you can be. All right. <clears throat> I just want to get, I did some, I did the numbers and let me just pull one sign so I can give you one clarification for those of you who need to know who, what this person's sign is. All right. Cancer. For some of you, definitely a cancer. Okay. Well, the best out of three. Okay. For some of you, of course, Gemini. And one more. And Aries. Okay. All right, a couple of charms and then we're going to be done. Let's see, what do you have, Virgo? Oh, what the? So you have an angel. You're my angel. Come and save me tonight. Okay. You have an angel and you have a moon. Look at that. That's again. That always happens, doesn't it? The moon with the star. Someone thinks you're a star, Virgo. Blowing kisses. So you have this angel. And on the back, it says... Hold on. I have to try to read it. Uh, made for an angel. Wow. I think that's what it says. Made for an angel. I don't have good lighting over here. Yeah, that's what it says. So maybe somebody's name is Angel, but there's made for an angel. Hmm, I'm not sure what that means. And then you also have like this little birdie here. Little canary in a coal mine. Little birdie coming in. You're going to hear something, Virgo, through what I like to say, <laughs> through the grapevine, Virgo about someone, you might get like an intuitive download as well about someone, you might be feeling it, that this person's regretting right now, um, and feeling remorseful, learning their lesson. You, some of you might already be feeling that this person's gonna be coming in around your birthday. So, you know, keep that in the back of your mind, go about your business, go about your day, do your thing. If you are wanting to reconnect with this person, um, you know, just let them do their thing, right? If you don't, then, you know, that's a choice you made. And hopefully, like I said, o October, I'm feeling a strong energy of somebody coming in, but we're not going to get into, like, I'm not going to press a reading for that until that time. All right. But if anybody else shows new coming in the rest of this week or throughout the rest of August, we'll definitely check that out okay you guys so links for everything the, the link for everything you need is in the description box below as i always say i hope you guys make good choices be happy love each other love yourselves and i will see you all back here tomorrow with who's watching you all right virgos love you take care